Hi, my name is Andy. I just wanted to take a quick video to explain uh, what non-binary transmasculine means. So it's one of those new terms. And I know some of you might be tempted to say, oh, that's the weird shit that the kids know. But I'll tell you what that, those kids are doing with that weird shit. They're making words to describe so that the rest of us old fogey trans folk can have words to describe the thing that confuses us. Well, they're doing it for themselves, but I'm really glad they did because non-binary. So we're gonna start with non-binary. What non-binary means is that you don't identify either as male or as female. It's kind of a gender umbrella. So where there's a gender box, there's male, there's female, you don't want to check either one of those. So you might be, you might feel like you're somewhere in between male and female. Um, people that like to say or identify as non-binary and somewhere in between will un might add another thing on it to specify where on that slider they are, right? So... Some people might say, I'm non-binary femme. So that person could be either assigned male or assigned female at birth, but enjoy wearing feminine clothing and talking and behaving in a feminine manner. Uh, someone who identifies as non-binary transmasculine like I do, uh, well, let's, let's just start with non-binary mask. Non-binary masculine, and we call it M-A-S-C, mask for short. Uh, so non-binary masculine, uh, this person may be either assigned male or female at birth, but doesn't identify as strictly male or female, but they identify more on the masculine end of the gender spectrum. So this person would like perhaps wearing men's clothing, cutting their hair in a traditionally male style, or, you know, maybe flannels. <laughs> um, and it makes them more comfortable and happy to do so. Uh, whether or not a binary person is trans um, is up to them. It really is. You can't tell someone, oh, no, you're not trans or, oh, no, you are trans. If you feel, by a simple definition, if you feel that you are different than the identity, the gender identity, if you feel that your gender is different than the gender that you were assigned at birth, yes, you are trans. Now, whether or not you actually want to medically transition um, then that changes things a little bit. Um, there's plenty of people that are non-binary that are very happy with not medically transitioning. And you know what? <laughs> Their lives are probably less complicated than mine. Uh, that shit is true, <laughs> y'all. That shit is super true. Ah. Sorry, guys. Just knock this thing over. All right. So yeah, that shit is super true. People that don't feel the need to medically transition have an easier time of it. Uh, but me, I tried that for three, four years. Um, let's see. It was in 2016 that I started wearing men's clothing and cut my hair short and asked my friends to use the pronouns they and them. No. No, no, no. I didn't change my pronouns then. Um, but I started wearing a lot of men's clothes and started talking to my friends about how, like, I really felt very masculine and liked behaving in a more masculine way and dressing in a more masculine way. It just made me feel good. Um, and then probably a year, no, two years ago now, um, I realized that 
I wasn't going to be like that, that, that wasn't enough just being non-binary. And that's when I started seeing the therapist and it was during the COVID pandemic last year, probably around October, November, that I finally realized, nope, I, I have to medically transition. Um, so I identify as either non-binary masculine or non-binary trans masculine. Although these days I've been adding the trans part to it because it's kind of important for how my life is. And the fact that people are going to see some physical changes in me. And those of you that have heard my voice before can tell that there's already a little bit of a physical change just starting. Um, so yeah, that's, that's me. Hope y'all have a good day. Take care. Stay warm.